Hi guys, Squirrel here. I've just spent two days at Truckfest Peterborough 2017 and this is my show video. It's going to be a random selection of things that I saw at Truckfest. Let me just explain what it is. So Truckfest it is a UK thing. It's an event that's on through the year. They have like five meetings, I think it is now. Uh, but the biggest one and one of the oldest uh, Truckfests in uh, the UK is the Peterborough one. It's always held on the first bank holiday Monday of May. Uh, this one was held on the 30th of April and the 1st of May. I spent two days there, and I got loads of footage. I did, I did loads of filming this year, which is something I don't normally do. In this video, you're going to see lots of show trucks, uh, lots of stuff that was on display from the manufacturers, uh, and I'll just talk about various things that happened uh, during the day. It was a great day out. It's always a good day out. The weather just about held off. Uh, it was a bit sunny, but occasionally there was a smattering of rain, so you'll see people polishing their trucks. We got stuff from Scania. Uh, Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, we've got American trucks. Uh, it was a good day out and uh, yeah, it's just a random montage of me talking about bits and pieces that went on through the, through the day. So uh, yeah, enjoy. This uh, black Scania here has really nice chrome wheels on it, 6x4 with chrome nuts and really well polished Goodyear tyres on it. Lovely uh, fairing side. I mean, this this is the kind of thing that you know we hope to see in Euro Truck. On the back though, the fifth wheel. You can see the grease on the fifth wheel, but even the grease looks like it's been like carefully placed. This guy is obviously trying to win um, the sort of one of the awards for the truck of the show kind of thing. Around the back there, very nice V8 Scania uh, mud flaps. Pretty, pretty stock back end, I think. Full covered wheels. Spent a few quid on accessories down at the Scania shop. I can't decide if I like the black or the white Scania more. I think I prefer the white. I mean, this does look nice, but... I don't know. Black and chrome trim. Probably need, could do with some more chrome trimmed. Maybe some stuff going on around the, uh, the handle. The door handle as well. But a full S730 model in black. Does look very nice. The wheels on this are lovely. Look at the Scania trim in the middle there. And then the full cover. This is one of the uh, Scania trucks that was on at the stand. I think it's an S580. Uh, it's completely covered in fairing. Like, you can hardly see the chassis. It's that covered. All in a sort of a silver grey. V8 logo on display. Both wheel chocks in the back there. Very clean fifth wheel. Either a show truck or a truck that's never... Um, done any hauling yet maybe it'll go back to the factory and, and be resold sometimes that's what they do they, they build them for the customers then they bring them to the show and then they sell them on uh, but this may just be one of the show trucks that they take around full side fairing v8 logo all the wheels completely covered up but it's uh, i don't know it's really nice in silver really smart no no ball bars on the front no lights no external stuff no third party just full stock scania and a very nice looking truck. Some of the team that I went with um, had a registration plate made for me. You can see it there, SQRL Yachts 3. Yachts 3 is the year of the Squirrel 3, which is like the third year I've been doing this full time. And they made this registration plate, which we then stuck on top of a, uh, a Scania. We, put, we couldn't find a way of attaching it onto the actual registration plate at the bottom there, so we just put it on the windscreen wiper. Inside one of the arenas was this Scania T. Uh, obviously a show truck, really like large amounts of money have been spent on this thing. It's got its own custom paint skin as you can see. It's a, it's a beautiful looking truck. Even the wheels, look at the wheels, the actual blue that matches the, the bodywork. The Bridgestone tyres, all chrome going on, chrome foot plates. Massive keep out sign, but you can't keep my GoPro camera out of there. Look at, it's a bit too red on the interior for my liking. You know, a bit too garish red and blue. But the amount of money that's been spent is, is obvious. A lot of time and effort has gone into this thing. It's coming around the back. We can see even, you know, the wheels down here. 
beautiful looking wheels. A fifth wheel which is like bright red. Look at the, the wheel arches as well. The amount of chrome going on, the amount of polishing happening here. Look at the state of that. Looks amazing though. Those exhausts look absolutely amazing. I'd love to hear that thing fired up. But yeah, that's one of the show trucks inside. Very, very nice scan. One of the best scan ETs I saw at the show. I think this was the only scanny along line that I saw at the show. There may have been more, but I, I didn't see any. But yeah, he spent a few quid on accessories on this one. Beacon's right on the front there, underneath the nameplate. Look at the state of it. Look at that paint job. That Scania logo, look at that, it's beautiful. And the guy constantly polishing it through the day. This is a common thing at the show. One of my favourite Scanias that I saw was this one here. A red and black Scania. Just look at the bull bars, like even the trim on the bull bars is, is red and black. It's a wonderful paint job. The thing I liked about this truck, um, because you probably think to yourself, well, it's, it's not that amazing. The thing I liked about this truck was just the sheer understated beauty of it. Uh, obviously, his name is Treacle. It's full headlights at the top there, uh, ball bar, full lights, everything that you can see that you can build in Euro Truck, really. Um, but it's just done in such a classy way. It's a really nice truck. I would be very happy to own something like this. It doesn't shout in your face. It's just very, very well done. Uh, the V8 subtlety going on, like little V8 chrome badges on the back there, one on the side. Uh, black chassis. The tanks have been painted the same colour as the truck itself. Coming down to the wheels. The wheels again, you know, the red and the chrome. I mean, personally, I, I would possibly change the wheel nuts on that and go for the coloured wheel nuts, but I totally understand that he's got chrome on there. Around the back, you know, full fairing at the back there. Nothing too overstated. I just really enjoyed that truck. I thought it was a beautiful truck. So here I am in the next generation Scania, just climbing aboard here with my GoPro. And I thought we'd just have a quick look round so you can get an idea of uh, the new cab, like the layout of it. Obviously this is a right hand drive one because we're in the UK. Uh, yes, I've got my Harley Davidson jacket on, which I got from San Francisco. <laughs> well, that's by the by, but you can see like how they've restyled the interior. Uh, the bunk at the back there. This is obviously, you know, a standard truck, standard workhorse truck, so you're not going to see anything flashy in here, but it gives you an idea of what a driver would would um, would deal with on a day-to-day -day basis of one of the new next-gen Scanias. Very tidy, and looking forward to seeing this in Euro Truck Simulator later this year. Now, for the past couple of years, Volvo have always put on uh, some really fantastic-looking trucks. This year, they went for something different. They've gone for a construction theme, so a lot of the stuff that you see, like this is a modified FH16, uh, 750 for heavy haul purposes. There was a number of trucks in this kind of bright orange, which I, I laughingly said was a daft orange. Uh, but you can see like the multiple uh, the multiple chassis built for heavy haul. It's interesting given that you know Euro Truck just released or are just about to release, I should say, the heavy haul DLC. Uh, and here we are with with heavy haul Volvo. Coincidence? Probably, probably a coincidence. But it is nice to see the real thing. I mean, you can get an idea of what's involved in the heavy haul here. This kind of chassis you should be able to get in Euro Truck in, in, uh, in on the Volvo and Euro Truck. Over here, this is the kind of thing that you can't get in Euro Truck at the moment. It's kind of tipper type thing, but it gives you, you know, a, an insight into what Volvo does. Like they don't just make. It's the same with Scania, to be honest. They don't just make, you know, trucks for hauling trailers around. They also do a lot of specialized machinery. I mean, look at this one here with the full digger arm on the back. This thing kind of belongs in construction simulator. But one day, who knows, one day, maybe they'll bring this into the Euro Truck game. Maybe you'll get jobs to go to construction yards and, and you know, move Earth. Who knows? It's always interesting to sort of walk up here and just see the control mechanisms. There's obviously um, a little board there that tells you all about the stats of the truck. Well, you can see where the operator stands there. This is the kind of machinery that you don't get to play with. <laughs> On the Volvo stand, this trailer caught my eye. It's like a 50 years of Volvo. You can see the generational changes through the Volvo range there. Volvo trucks, 50 years of driving progress. Just thought it was a nice trailer. I thought I'd show you that. 
At the Volvo stand was this thing, one of the Volvo race trucks. I don't know the specifications of this truck, you can probably look it up on the internet. But listening to the engine sound as it ticks over, and what you can't feel is like the sweet smell of, of diesel. And when I say sweet smell, I really mean that. I don't know what they're doing with the diesel engine these days, but when you smell this thing, it doesn't smell like diesel oil fumes. It smells sweet. It's really strange. It's obviously to do with what they're doing with the emissions. But, you know, the guy was saying, like, what they can get out of diesel engines now, the technology, compared to 20 years ago, is just phenomenal. There were guys here who were signing posters of the actual race truck, which, you know, I've got one of those. <laughs> Look at the exhaust on the back. But in a second, he revs it up, and I'll show. I just. I'll. I won't talk for that. I'll just let you listen to it. It sounds amazing. Okay, so here we go. Four turbochargers whistling away. Serious power. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Beautiful sounded engine. That little kid on the right though, obviously enjoying it as much as I was. Inside the arena, Volvo F12 Classic Globetrotter. Uh, this thing probably would have been winning awards years ago. It's very, very well done. I don't know, I assume it's just as a show truck now. I can't see this thing hauling anything or being used for any other purposes other than to just show you how things used to be. Really nice wheel trims for its for its era. Robert's high mess. Lots of chrome on this thing. Custom paint job on top. But look at the chrome foot plating on the back. Single massive exhaust in the middle. It's just really nice. It's really nicely done. It's it's lovely to see like this kind of classic truck just being maintained, you know. It's even got like a plate in the back there with a signature on it, you see it? Fifth wheel covered up. Unpainted uh, mudguard. But yeah, just really well maintained F12. L400. So that implies about 90, I'm going to think, maybe 93, 94, maybe around that mark. Just from the registration plates, I am guessing here. The boss, Maurice Alfred, high mass. So Daff were in the usual position next to the showground. Uh, thank you, out the way of the camera. It's funny how people look at the camera and then just carry on running in front of it anyway. It happens a lot. Anyway, this was the world premiere of the Daff XF. I'm not really sure what the world premiere was. Uh, they said that it was gonna go from here back. It just come from the factory. It was gonna go to the show here and then it was gonna go back to the factory. Um, I don't know, beautiful custom blue paint job on this thing. Goodyear fuel max tires front and rear. Uh, 4x2 chassis. Lots of uh, lots of plating on the top there. Obviously built as a work truck, but certainly looks the business. Beautiful looking truck. Uh, you could take this and then accessorize it and make it look pretty stunning, I reckon. Let's go and have a look inside the truck itself. So this time we have a left-hand drive truck. So this has probably just come straight over from the Netherlands factory. Let me just grab up, climb on board. Should really have used the handle, not the wheel, but never mind. As you can see, upper bunk. Not bad spec. Not a massive fan of brown trim myself, but it looks pretty classy enough. Definitely a nice interior. Quite a big tray there next to the cup holders. I'm guessing this thing doesn't have a built-in sat-nav. If it does, it's a very small screen. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Very, very deaf. So, this truck caught my eye. It's a white deaf. I say it's white. It's white at the front. There's a number of reasons why this thing catches my eye. So, it's very, very white at the front, which looks really clean, really beautiful. It then has a registration plate in the window that says shiny on it, which made me giggle a little bit. The mirrors are white. And then the side of it is has got the PJ Thorey in Peterborough skin. So it's obviously a very local trucking logistics company. Now look at the wheel covers themselves. They've done in like the same blue as the paint. Then you've got this massive chrome shiny tank. But wait till you see the other one, it's weird. 
You've got your mid-lift wheel, very small mid-lift wheel actually. You've got your plastic unpainted wheel arches. Pretty much stock rear, so shiny again on the registration plate. As you come down, you can see all the wheels have got that little blue trim on it, which just looks pretty smart. And then you've got this whacking big rectangular tank. Look at that. What the heck? But other than that, you know, I think it's really nice. It's a lovely truck. Very well done. Mercedes-Benz Army Zetros. What can you say about this? Matte green paint. Nothing shiny about this thing. Not much chrome on this one. It's built for obviously whatever it's built for. Army hauling, flatbed purposes. Has its crane arm on the back. Heavy duty, I assume. But I don't know. Did they sell these to the British Army? Or I just don't know. I mean, it's a, I think it's a right-hand drive. Right-hand steering wheel. So I guess they do use them in the British Army. But yeah, it is what it is. I think one of the best Mercedes-Benz Actros paint skins I've ever seen. There's something about this, uh, this paint job that just looks amazing. They've done everything so well on this truck, you know? I, I love the red and the blue colour, the contrast. The heavy haul kind of trim down at the bottom there. It's all red, full red chassis, full red wheel arches. Blow on the back with a chrome, look at the chrome and the lights down the side there on the fairing. Just everything, the attention to detail on this truck is lovely. I presume it's a show truck, I mean the fifth wheel looks clean. Looks as clean as my t-shirt to be honest. But I don't know, it's just, I, I really like this truck. I think it's fantastically well done. Red center, chrome nuts. Looks like he's even got a ladder underneath her so he can climb up and keep polishing this. Probably polishing it for the entire duration of Truck Fest. Wasn't really much to say about the Iveco stand. There never is really. But this thing caught my eye. It's like an Iveco race truck as well. You can see completely different uh, layout, structure, back end to the Volvo truck. But this one has a more interesting paint job, I, sh I would say. You know, you can't mistake this one, can you? Bright red, bright blue, bright white, number 89. Let's have a little listen to it. Couldn't get the guy to rev it up quite as much as the Volvo, but uh, again, you've got this kind of sweet diesel smell coming out the back. Nice truck though, I'm sure it'll go faster than my car. I did in, fi in fact find the uh, the best Renault of the show here. This is the Renault show truck. Truck Fest winner, 2017. 4x2 chassis, even includes a beacon on the back there for heavy haul purposes. Definitely the best Renault. Named it George. Inside the arena they have uh, some really nice American trucks. This Peterbilt, the little rubber duck on the front. Fantastic. I actually built a truck that looked a bit like this in, in American trucks. In. But yeah, it's got a really nice paint job inside. Like, look at the state of that. Just look at that. Cat engine, chrome everywhere. I mean, th that is the cleanest engine bay. You can actually see all the details, all the pipe work, every nut. Like, it's replaced almost every nut with a chrome nut. Looks incredible. Spiky nuts on the uh, on the wheels there. Air horns down the bottom where the foot plate is. Just look at the. It's hard to take it all in the amount of detail that's going on here. Let's have a quick look at the interior as best I can with this camera. Look at that. Now that. That's insane. It's actually insane. Imagine driving that. I'm guessing this whoever owns this has had it for a few years and they've really spent a lot of hours on this truck. And a lot of money. Let's not forget that. Full chrome cover on the back there, look. Brilliant paintwork. 
What an amazing truck that is. Similar to the Peterbilt and the Arena, this Kenworth outside caught my eye. Again, you know, very nice looking truck. The sleeper cabin on this is absolutely massive. The wheelbase is insane. I don't, I don't know how he drives it around British roads, quite frankly. As soon as you get off the, off the motorway, this is going to make you work hard. But inside the engine bay, it's beautiful, clean. I uh, assume it's a cat engine, but you can see all the detail again. It replaced all the, all the visible nuts with the sort of chrome variants. I think I prefer the Peterbilt in luck to this one. Like, there's definitely more detail on the Peterbilt than on this Kenworth, but it's still an amazing looking truck. Right next door to it, I think the the same owner, another Kenny. Different engine, I'm not sure what the green is. Some, somebody told me this once. Is the green the Detroit or something? The yellow's the cat? I can't remember. But yeah, different uh, different model, different engine. Not quite so uh, not quite so chromed up or as much as of a show truck. More of a work truck, that one. But still, pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice Kennys. There's a number of American trucks on display at Truck Fest. There always is. It has its own section. I'll just walk down here and you can have a look for yourself. Pretty old school on the right there. Old school Kenny. Nice pizza built there, freight liner. And then you have the sort of much more custom paint job versions. Lovely pizza built here. Look at the top of the lights. Look, he's got his own little wings on top of the lights and then he's got this like wind deflector. Look at the registration plate. Nut 773R. Fantastic. Peter built 379. I like it when they put the plaque on the front. You can go and look at the history of the truck. But that, that's a beautiful looking truck so much chrome though I don't know how much these guys spend on um, on chrome cleaner over here with a, ve a full Vegas uh, paint job on this one maybe it's come from Vegas I don't know maybe the guy just likes gambling I'm not sure he's brought this a long way Fantastic paint job on the top there. That's, that is incredible. Look at that. K4 Dodd is registration plate says. But yeah, difference on both sides, like asymmetric paint job. Great looking truck though. Lovely wheel arches as well. There's a good representation of model trucks as well uh, at Truck Fest. There's a big arena, which as you can see, they've laid out with loads of trucks. You'll see trucks doing all kinds of things here. You'll even see diggers moving earth into the back of the trucks. Uh, you'll see the trucks hauling stuff away, tipping things. Uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's one truck in the middle, just to the left, though, which is like a silver tanker with a Scania. Uh, that one drove past me, and I was like, I really want that one. <laughs> but these things cost quite a bit of money. More money than I think I'd spend on uh, just something like this is a bit of, little bit of fun. These guys take it quite seriously. But inside this arena is, you know, there's like Lego Technic sets, there's just everything to do with model with, with model uh, truck driving. Uh, there's even like a heavy haul one, I think that's it on the left there. It's like a heavy haul thing, it's a, it's a multi-part thing and they drive it all the way through the show. Uh, it looks incredible. I spent two days at Truck Fest in Peterborough, I had a fantastic time. I met loads of people from my team, I met loads of fans, came and said hi. Uh, we hung out, we walked around. Wonderful, wonderful couple of days. The weather held out, and that's the main thing. There are many more Truck Fest festivals in the UK throughout the year. If you go to truckfest.co.uk, you can see the details of them. But they're scattered around, you know, Scot Scotland, Southwest, uh, Southeast, Northwest, pretty much everywhere you live in the UK, you'll be able to find a Truck Fest that you can go to. I just go to the Truck Fest one because, you know, I'm familiar with it and I like it. I've been there a few years now. Now, while I was there, I recorded quite a lot of uh, video footage of different trucks. I can't possibly talk over all of them, so what I thought I'd do is I'd leave you with a, uh, a musical montage of all the different trucks and things that I saw at Truck Fest Peterborough 2017. <laughs> 